Hello everybody, Peter of England. What we're going to do today is talk about a subject that's near and dear to all of our hearts and that is Area 52 Xterra created just for you. Now the last two videos have been on the same subject. We're going to continue now for the, the foreseeable future on unpacking the, the aspects of Area 52 and what it means for you. Uh, several questions have been posed. We are in the process of filling out the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions section on the, on the website. And so as we go along, those questions will be made more apparent to you. Now, for all of those who have tried to um, either register, become a member or join, um, we had a few teething problems. This was simply caused by a, a problem on the host provider's server, which unfortunately flagged um, one or two of our emails up as um, incorrectly constituted. So what that did is it put everything into a queue, and when we were saying to you, you should receive a verification email, and insisting that it should be either in your main folder or your spam box, uh, or spam uh, junk folder, it wasn't. So, that's what I'd like to um, address now. Everything is fixed, okay? The problems have been solved. So, for all of those of you out there that tried to, to, to join or register, please go back and do the same procedure as you did before. It's very simple. Either use, obviously, the same email as you had before, I'm not suggesting you create another one. Um, if you've forgotten your password, or your password seems not to function, then please just click Forgot Password and it will send again into your email box and you'll just go through the process again. So that's uh, as much as I want to say uh, for now on the housekeeping issue. So uh, one or two things that uh, people have posted either on YouTube or sent to us, maybe they haven't read the website, I don't know, but one of the things is um, where is Area 52 exactly? Well, it isn't uh, somewhere exactly, it's almost everywhere. And it is what's called the Global Commons. The Global Commons is or constitutes the Global High Seas. And that is an area outside the 12 nautical mile jurisdictional territorial limit of all land-based sovereign nations. So anything that is not on the land or within that 12 nautical mile distance offshore is our area 52 and the 52 refers to 52 percent of the planetary surface area which is our your new home if you wish um, what it is is in fact the newest nation the newest state the newest environment the newest country and don't confuse the word that country has to be on land. Uh, as I've said before, there's big country or referred to as the state of Montana. There's my country when people refer to uh, of various aspects of, of their life. Um, and so the word country or, or state or, or territory, um, though terra is a, a prefix for territory, uh, it doesn't actually have to be physically on land. Now, does it really exist? This is also a question that's been put to us, or why should I bother to join? Well, yes, it does exist, and it simply exists because no one else has claimed it. It is a, uh, a, a nebulous, amorphous area that exists on the planet. It is a, uh, a marine domain, and under what's called the Montevideo Convention of 1933, that was signed in Uruguay, it defines the nation state. And what the nation state requires is just a geographical area, a population or citizenry. It requires a governance or government, and it requires an ability to communicate or have intercourse with other, other nations. And if those those uh, criteria are fulfilled, then you have a nation, you have a state, you have a new state of mind. And as it says in that Montevideo Convention, it's what's called, it's the self-declaratory nature of statehood that is important. And it does not require 
the recognition of the state by other states for it to be a recognized territorial geographical new state. So that's all I can say. Of course, as we roll this forward now into the future and start providing you with the services from Area 52, which will include things like uh, a passport, an ID, a citizenship certificate, international driver's license, uh, insurance documents for your vehicle, um, uh, new registration, uh, taxation uh, status whereby you will be immune from paying tax, uh, number plates, um, you will be uh, immune from paying tax because uh, there are no, what, as long as we can create a tax regime, then there is what's called an exemption for a double, double status uh, uh, tax, uh, tax regime. So it's just like becoming a citizen uh, or resident of Monaco or these other places like Andorra. Um, they are tax havens. And if you are paying tax or whatever the tax status is within that, that area, then you don't have to pay it anywhere else. I think they're called a double taxation agreement. So that's what we are looking to provide for you. It's a new, uh, a, a completely new philosophy. We can provide you also with a new date of birth. We can provide a new name. And so you are really beginning afresh. You are divorcing from the old and you're joining the new. A totally new beginning. So the, the divorce aspect is a, um, how would I say, I declared it in the other one. So it's a direct intention, voiced or recited, communicating an exit. An exit from the old and a joining of the new. It's an exodus which is a new state of mind. That's what you've got to get a grip of, that you are now coming into an environment. You can take the citizenship uh, for you and your family. We're making that available as the, the next few weeks or months go by because there's a lot of work to be done. And so you'll end up with a, a wallet, a set of documents, a, a pack, um, which will have all the things in it that I've just mentioned if people want to become a citizen. So I'd encourage you now to go to area52.life, go through the procedures that I've mentioned before. They are f quite self-explanatory. The glitches in the system that were there uh, from, I think, about the 4th for around about an 8-day period have now all been ironed out. And so there is no excuse for you not to join. And we welcome you the more the merrier. The Global Commons, the area that it is, the area as it's called uh, in international law, is ours, is yours. For the 8 billion people on the planet, it is your, your natural resources. And for those people who become members, I'd encourage you to go onto the marine tracking area, the um, air tra tracking area, and what's called the satellite tracking area, just to see what your new world is, um, is covered with most of the time. It gives a good uh, moving, uh, real-time picture of, of what's surrounding you and what you need to retake control of. Now, the... The why that it's important for you to do this right now is because there are major moves being rolled out by uh, the World Economic Forum, the neocon agenda, which is controlling the, the battlefields not only in Ukraine but all around the world, um, particularly the United States that are involved in Ukraine and the propagation of the, the war agendas globally and have been since the inception of that country. Um, yes, at the behest of uh, controlling foreign powers like the United Kingdom and uh, those that move the wheels within the Vatican. But more pressure is going to be placed upon you now because what has happened is the deliberate mechanism that the Rothschild, Warburg, Banking, Kazarian, Cabal have used time and time and time immemorially to produce the effects that they need are being wheeled out again now. Typical example, whether it's the, 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 the presage to the collapse of Wall Street uh, in the 1930s uh, to 2008 and now with the events that are rolling forward in 2023, 
um, cheap money, 1% interest type money was plowed into the markets for 10, 15 years. The quantitative easing, money, money for free, the large corporations taking more and more and more, people being able to borrow more and more and more at very, very low rates of interest until there is enough kerosene loaded into the basement and then they strike the match and put it in, in the form of inflation, which just gets crept up and up and up. And as the food prices go up and the wages don't go anywhere, and as now the mortgage rates are starting to escalate through the roof, it becomes more and more expensive. So they are coming for you. Get it through your head. They're not doing you any favors. These things don't happen by accident. They're going to take your property from you. And what they're doing is through a guise of liberal socialism, they are communizing the world that has always been the plan. And from the communization comes serfdom. So you're going to go back to owning, as Klaus Schwab says, owning nothing but supposedly being happy. But the only thing that will be keeping you happy is whatever they're putting and fusing into the water supply and in the big pharma uh, recipes that they're asking you to gulp down like bonbons every day or M&Ms. So the central bank digital currency is coming. Wherever they can introduce it, they will. And for certain, it's, it's on its way. It's not a question of if. It's a, a question of when. And if you want to prevent the money from just arriving at their behest through their central bank high street controlling mechanisms so that it comes onto your phone, it will have either a watermark or a timestamp on it, and it will be spendable within a certain period of time. It will either be spend it or lose it. And on the back of that, what will also happen is just like they do in, in China under the, um, the, uh, uh, the Chinese Communist Party good citizen um, uh, ideology, you will only be able to spend if you have sufficient uh, credit score, which means you have been a good boy or girl and done exactly what the state uh, asks you to do. If you step out of line, they'll switch it off or you won't be able to spend on things like a train ticket, leaving your 15 minute uh, lockdown city or even purchasing things that they don't want you to purchase anymore. So it's complete control. We have a way of preventing that. Come across, join Area 52, Xterra, and we will be able to perform a function of introducing what's called a re-SDR into the system, which you can also look to use on your phone. However, it won't have any of the Orwellian, tyrannical, nightmare scenarios that the other side have planned. So this is truly a way for all those out there who want to protect their future, want to protect their family, want to divorce and exodus from the system. You've asked for it. It is here. So take advantage of it now because what's going to happen is the negative capacitance within the system is what the Warburg, Rothschild um, banking families always use when they've inflated the money supply beyond the moon. They always end it with a war because that destroys the negative capacitance. It's like a shock or a short circuit as sparks and causes a great deal of trauma and difficulty. So always war, more war and more war. The action you need to take now for all those of you, uh, all of those of you who've managed to get to the end of the video, uh, which is a great feat and congratulations. I'd like you to go now to area52.life, press on the join, and go right the way through the process and become a member. More and more information will then be given to you as we go along and the members area is being um, sweeted out. It has been reupholstered. It's going to be made a very, very amenable area where you'll be able to communicate with all those type of people who've got a similar opinion to you and a, a, a thriving love for freedom. <clears throat> so that's all I'd like to say. 
Thank you very much. Pass this video on to all your friends and your contacts so we can see the numbers escalate into their thousands. Thank you.